for my wine of the week this week we've gone to Italy and we've gone to the north of Italy the Veneto region uh, up there in the north east of Italy around about the city of Venice. The wine I've gone for is the Pasqua Passimento 2009. Now Pasqua is a big producer of um, fairly inexpensive wines. They're quite common in the UK supermarkets. Um, and I have to say this one is a little bit different and it's one of the better wines that I've tasted from them recently. Um, it's Passimento because it is made from dried grapes. These are the kind of traditional grapes that you would find in the Amarone wines of that region. Uh, things like Corvina and in this case Merlot which have been dried on wooden trays after harvesting before being pressed and made into a wine. Uh, the drying process concentrates the grapes a little bit, increases the sugar a little bit, so you get wines which are um, quite high in alcohol, 14% in this case, but also quite rich. And although it's fermented dry, it has some of that dried fruit, that currenty richness of this dried berries. So this one, uh, £7.99 in the co-op, which I think is actually a very good price for it, on the nose, there is some of that dried cherry. There is something like cranberry or maybe um, red currant in there too. That kind of dry fruit quality. There's a nice little sweetness here too. Uh, something slightly floral perhaps. Um, and there's a little bit of oak in this wine also. I can get a nice bit of that background touch of, kind of tobacco or cedar. On the palate, Well, it's quite full, it's quite rich. This is a big wine. It's quite a big impact. It's smooth, it's raisiny, it's chocolatey. Um, it's not the most profound example in the world. It's not the most complex, but it has a certain drive and a certain dried fruit character that really pushes through. It makes it a really good wine to have with pasta, spaghetti bolognese perhaps but also to have with something like a steak. It needs that kind of food, that kind of protein rich food to allow these sweet fruit flavors, relatively high acidity to really push through. I think it's a nice example, no great length, no great complexity, but you know, for a hint of the style of an Amarone from the Veneto in the north of Italy, uh, I think at £7.99 in the co-op, it's a pretty good effort. So, it's the Pasqua Passimento, £7.99 in the cooperative, and it's my wine of the week.